All right. I'm gonna jump back into Kid Icarus. My thought back, uh, my thought behind this is I think, um, I think there's a second quest to the game. And I don't remember if I knew about that. So, um, I'm gonna play through it again to refamiliarize myself with it. And then, um, I'm hoping to at least try the second quest. I don't know what the deal with it is. If it's the same thing, or if it's harder, or whatever, I, I assume it's harder, so. That's the idea. We'll see what happens, though. See if I can even, it, just making it through the regular is hard enough, though. So we'll see. It'll probably have to be divided into more than one stream, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Nightmare. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. What's up, Panic? Fozzy Duck. All right, let's start this off. Here we go. There he is, our hero, Pit, Kid Icarus. So let's see. Um, the one thing I remember is so uh, one of the main things is on the first stage. Th this game is a lot about farming. Farming, grinding. Um, how would you guys define the difference between farming and grinding? Tell me about how you gr guys grind. <laughs> um, yeah, so you collect hearts. Hearts are the currency. Watch this. That's to get the hammers. The hammers destroy the, um, the soldiers, like, the statues inside of the dungeons. Oh, fuck. Well, and that's why Kid Icarus sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Hang on a second. Johnny Blue, what's up? This is one of your favorites. Eggplants for all. He was a character in that, yes, the eggplant wizard. My favorite thing, what is my favorite thing to put mustard on? And that comment comes from Mr. Yellow Mustard. Um, well, if your name is Mr. Yellow Mustard, um, I'll tell you what, as, as a uh, gamer, Um, I think I, I would be expected to say my favorite thing to put yellow mustard on is, uh, my shirt. Uh, I don't know. I want to know what your answer is, because after all, you are Mr. Yellow Mustard. So who would have a better answer than you? And I, I, you know, I'd like to know if, uh, everything involving everything that you're gonna say in my chat involves mustard and wh like where do these people come from all of a sudden like I'm streaming for like seven years and all of a sudden here comes Mr. Yellow Mustard out of nowhere so are you another person are you somebody who's been to my streams before and you change your name to Mr. Yellow Mustard you know or are you like a new person that's what I want to know <laughs> you know is it just somebody who's always in my streams and they, they changed their name and now they got a thing about mustard? Dark Fielders, thank you very much for the tier one sub. And Blank also, thank you for the sub. go on stream you've been watching for a while okay I don't I can't remember everybody so uh, maybe I did I don't know sorry uh, all right so this is health but I have full health so I, mean, I guess I'll grab it anyway Ooh, oh remember this okay so this is like a chance room 
So basically, if you get the bad thing, it's over. Like, how far do I want to press my luck here? Um, how about, I'm gonna try this. All right, I'm not gonna, should I, should I do a little more? One more, one more. All right, I'm not gonna do any more than that. I'm gonna start taking them. I wanna get some stuff. So that room is like, you know, if you get the bad thing, it's over. Or if you take an item, it's, it's over, you know, so. So I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna have to grind this first level, so that's one thing I know about this, which is uh, which is rough. Actually, the spots right here. Okay, so if you remember from a long time ago, I don't know if you guys watched my other Kid Icarus playthrough, but you have to basically sort of hang out here and. Um, I gotta get this frog out of here, first of all. Alright, so I got, I'm gonna have to spend some time here and grind this out. So I gotta really, like, focus so I don't, like, die. So, again, the idea here is, um... I found out about the second quest, or remembered the second quest. But I haven't played this game now in, I, I don't think, over, fuck, over a year. Um... So I want to re-familiarize myself with the whole thing. So basically, I'm supposed to... So as you kill enemies, I think you get points, right? God damn it. And... You're also collecting the hearts. The hearts are, you know, used for currency when you go into the shops. But at the end of the stages, um, they sort of tally up all your points. God damn it. There we go. Um, they tally up all your points at the end of the stage, and if you have enough points, I think from kill killing the enemies, you can get a major health upgrade. And if you get that, you're gonna stand a far better chance of, ooh, oh! Of getting through the rest of the game. So you see that, do you see the energy bar? Look at, so the top left, under the heart, that's the energy bar in this game. It's like, it's barely anything. So then you get to the next stage, you get to the dungeon. You keep going, you keep going, right? And the game gets harder as you go. But if, god damn it, man. But if you don't, um, if you don't get this health upgrade, you're pretty much fucked. You know? So got it. You kind of got to do this. I'm sure people don't without it, but I don't, I don't know about that. Also, I, I, I also don't know. Let's say that you didn't get the points here. I don't know if you can get the health upgrade otherwise later. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get like lots of points on this stage, and then we're going to be like, okay, we're going to give you the health upgrade. I don't know if I need to like... Like, could I still get the health upgrade on the second stage, on the third stage? Like, that, I don't know. And if I could, then I would probably just keep going. But I, as far as I know, I, I, you have to do this on the first stage, I believe. Or it could just be that it's more helpful to get it early. The early, earlier you get it, the better. And this is a nice, you know, farming spot to get this. You know, because the enemies keep coming out. It's not too difficult. There we go. I'm gonna like a little bit more in the rhythm now, but you know, you know, you never want to say that because then I'll mess this up. So I got 300. I think from what I remember, we want like 900. So like, we'll see what happens. And that's why this stinks. It's that's right. It stinks. 
so yeah, I guess I guess I've said everything that I wanted to say about that and what I'm doing. Treasure of Rudras, thank you very much for the sub. And what would Faxana do? See, that's a that's a clever that's a clever name. Uh, Tarkond, uh, all you guys subbed. Thank you very much for the subs and doing the gift subs. All that 900, yeah, it's like a lot. This game was tough when I was a kid. I don't think I made it past the second boss. Yeah, so. The, so there's dungeons, and then the first boss is like a dragon or something. I don't remember everything. And is there anybody in here that has played through both quests of this game? Because I know you guys are retro gamers like me, so I'm guessing that maybe somebody in here might have tried that. Um, sometimes I do these challenges and, you know, I have other people that have done this stuff too. But, um, I find with Kid Icarus, like, a lot of people haven't played through it, and then to find somebody who's actually played through this game and beaten it, that's even a little bit more rare. And then on top of that, he starts talking about second quest and stuff like that. It's like, not many people I know have gone through and actually played the second quest of Castlevania III Dracula's Curse. So I'm in the era now of like, okay, I've beaten these games, but how about second quest? Now, tell you what, uh, the first one I did, surprise, surprise, can you guess which uh, NES game was the first where I went through the second quest? I'm sure you can guess. Uh, yes, that's right. It, it, it was Zelda. So Zelda, as a kid, I, I would do. And that was a famous one. I feel like you put in the code. The code was Zelda. And then you can make it to the second quest. But even as a kid, I was obsessed with it. So I played through the first quest normally. I probably put Mike in as the name. And then um, you beat the first quest, and then you go on and you do the second quest. Or there was the famous code where you can just skip to the second quest. You know? And I think that was in Nintendo Power or something like that. But, um... Speaking of Nintendo Power, too, um, I don't think, now I could be wrong about this, but I don't think Kid Icarus was, the NES game at least, I don't think it was ever in an issue of Nintendo Power, as far as I know, because it, this is a very early game. Uh, there was a magazine that came before Nintendo Power, it was Nintendo uh, Fun Club, which I, that's where I started with. Um, I had the like last two issues, I think, or last issue of Nintendo Fun Club, and I had that, and then I remember because of that, because I already had that, I remember getting the first issue of Nintendo Power in the mail as a kid, and then I think I got roughly the first hundred issues or so until I stopped, we stopped the subscription, but I could have kept it going. Um, since then, I, I've gotten very into collecting Nintendo Powers, and I have almost all of them now. There's just a couple of them I gotta, like, grab. But, um... Anyway, the point is, I don't think Kid Icarus had its own Nintendo Power issue. So, certain secrets and things about this game, like it having a second quest, or any anything, really, I always sort of wonder where people found out th things about this game, like maps and whatever. Th this, I feel like, truly is one where you like probably would have had to draw your own map. I don't think there were... I, like, they, they had a Mario 3 strategy guide, which was that one that had that, like, red cover. Um, you know, and you, they have all these strategy guide issues and, you know, all this stuff, and I just don't think um, I, I ever saw much. Now, maybe in one of the issues... There could have been like a little, what do they call it, like counselor's corner, or um, there might have been like a little blurb on it, possibly. But uh, you know, even, actually, if that's the case, if anybody knows what issue there might be anything about Kid Icarus on NES in Nintendo Power, let me know. Um, because I have the issues over here, I could I could grab it out if anybody knows. Um, and I've done that before, and then people start guessing, 
I'm like, oh, does anybody know what issue, you know, such and such is in? Like, oh, what issue is, like, DuckTales 2 or something like that, you know? And then they'll be like, oh, yeah, Mike, that's issue uh, 51. And then I go and I get issue 51 out, and then it's, like, not. And then they're like, oh, it, actually, I think it was 56. And then I look through all of issue 56, and it's, like, not there. And then they're like, uh, 61, I think it was. And then eventually I'm like, are you guessing? And they're like, oh, yeah. It was just like, I know that game came out, like, in the 90s, right? So I figured that those magazines, like, were, like, from the 90s. So I, I probably, if I kept guessing, I'll probably get it right. I'm like, thanks for just totally guessing. Like, that's happened a couple times on stream. So if you don't actually know, don't. Don't tell Um... Yeah, so 820, I'm doing this all right. I was kind of worried that uh, I was going to fuck this up, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll do this all right. Do -do 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 -do. Fuck, see, I just got hit. See, I can't be saying that. And I'm going to have to make it to the end. I'm almost there, though. Almost. That's good. I, we went through that whole discussion about Nintendo powers, all that stuff. I'm, like, very focused on this, by the way, so I'm not trying to ignore the chat or anything. I'm just making sure that I do this because this is important right now. I don't want to, like, break my concentration here. Because if I can just get this part over with, we can move on with this game. So, we will, we will get this done here. Almost there, almost there, almost there. I think it's gotta be 900. Can you believe how long you have to do this? Have to, you know, debatably. Also, like, I'll probably upload this to YouTube later, so any of the stuff I'm talking about, about, like, the points and, like, can you get, like, the health bonus, like, later on on stage two or three or whatever, like, let me know. All right, I'm gonna go now. Let me know if you know any of the answers to any of that, because I'm always curious to learn more about these games. Alright, here we go. And fuck! Look, that one got me right there. Alright, so hopefully it should give me the power up. So look at the health on the top left there, and it should give me more power up. See, look how much more you get. Now we can move on with our lives. Alright, the important thing is over with. Now I'm happy. Alright, now I can see what you're saying. Uh, let's see. Between issue 12 and 86. Yeah, exactly. Somewhere in there, probably, probably, or, my, or maybe after 86, too. You never know. You don't know what to do. You're you're either gonna go to sleep or get breakfast. You don't know what to do. Well, right now you're in here watching me play Kid Icarus, so you're not doing either one of those things. So you're gonna have to make a decision. You didn't understand this game when you were a kid. There's a lot of things going on. Like I'll try to. Um, I mean, do you understand it now, or you're just saying you didn't understand when you were a kid? Um, actually, there there you go. If there are things that you you don't get. Like, honestly, like, ask me, and I will try, I will attempt to explain things. I don't know everything about it either, um, but I have beaten it before, so I know a good amount, but I, I also don't know, I also don't know everything. Um, I don't really understand the credit card thing, and those chance rooms, apparently, like, there's a way to, like, figure out the chance rooms, and that, I don't get how to do that either, so those are a few things I don't really understand. Now, who does that look like to you? Is that Groucho? What were their names? Uh, Groucho, Harpo, Zeppo, and, um... Bozo, right? Who am I missing? See, I'm more of a Three Stooges, Laurel and Hardy, 
Abbott and Costello. I like Groucho, like himself. Um, but the whole, the like the the entire Marx Brothers, I, I never really got to into them. The entirety of the Marx Brothers. Uh, okay, so we have the different items here. You can get the barrel. Uh, actually, I have so much money right now. I think I probably should get the barrel. Um, I'm gonna do that actually. Later on in the game, you can um, drop the prices, but I don't. I think you have to be more powerful than I am right now. So, so the barrel there is in the bottom left, and you can pretty much fill the barrel up and put extra health in there. What's the worst cereal I've ever tried? Here we go with the cereal again. Um, I've answered that question before. The, when I was like a teenager, I had, I had Christmas Captain Crunch, and it had... Um, it came with frosting in the box, and you put you'd have your cereal, and then you, which Captain Crunch I don't even like anyway very much, but then you take the frosting and you squeeze this white, um, you squeeze this like thick white substance out. Who knows what was in there, and it, all all over, and you spray it all this white substance all over your cereal, and then you're sitting there and you're eating it. And it's like all crunchy and like slimy, and you're like, I don't care for this cereal, <laughs> you know? So, like seriously. Now, speaking of uh, thick white uh, substance, um, I mean, I'm getting to the part of the stream that my chat wants to talk about. Because a lot of people don't come here for the games. A lot of people are here for other reasons. Fuck. There we go. Got him. Here's the elf. Got that. Good. Woo! Oh, have I told you about how this is Groucho? Honestly, whenever whenever I think about that, I just think about the line in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. <laughs> I think it's Last Crusade, yeah, with uh, Sean Connery. Okay, this guy should be easy enough to get. There you go. What's up, Johnny? The way you described it sounds really gross. The cereal? Um, it was. It was Cap Christmas Captain Crunch. You could probably find images of, of it online. T I guess type in the 1990s Christmas Captain Crunch and it'll probably come up. And uh, I'm not making it up. It's like they sold that and it was disgusting. So you asked me the worst cereal. That's the w worst one I can think of. <laughs> you know? Other than that, like, what are other, like, bad cereals? Um, like... Um, I don't, I, I don't think I like smacks very much. Uh, I don't know. Not, not a big, not a big fan of that. Also, I'm very old now, so now I can only eat Raisin Bran anyway. All right, so let's see if this trick works. Yeah, I'm probably not. I think I have to get the arrow upgrade before this works, but let's see. Oh, he made it more expensive. Oh, I didn't know if if you're not powerful enough and then you try the trick, he makes it more expensive. Oh, man, I didn't know that. Well, learn something there. How about that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. So if you are strong enough, basically the idea is that you can intimidate the shopkeeper, the shop owner, and then he drops the prices. 
but I am I'm still weak here, so he doesn't he's not intimidated at all by me. But he will be. Uh, maybe, hopefully. Uh oh. Don't you hate that guy so much? Here to here to here to here. Also, a really helpful item is the feather, which I don't have yet. So if you fall off the edge, the feather will like um help. <laughs> It'll um help. So I think this is the upgrade. Like trying to kill a couple more. I'm gonna like die though. So I'm gonna just hope that. Mm. Oh my god! I got enough guys. So here's the upgrade for the arrow. Now that I have that, I think if I go into the shop, uh, it will let me intimidate the shop owner. But the, the problem you can see here is that my health is. Poor! Oh my god, look at look at my health, look at my health. So now, we'll see what happens. So if I can just get some health, I'm gonna spend all my money on health now, I guess. If I can make it to a shop, that is. If I can make it even... We'll see. Are those the same bricks from the Roger Rabbit game on, it, on NES, or the Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle? You think they're the same? I want to do a video all about comparing the bricks in different um, video games. That's going to be my high quality content. Uh, I'm going to leave because that's going to get me. And I'm going to attempt to make it to a store. If I get hit like one more time, I'm probably done. Done for. I'm done for. Okay, I'm gonna hope that this is a store. Be a store. Be a store. Yes. All right. I'm gonna try. I. It better let me do this because I'm stronger now. Will you see that I'm green? So 210 for that. Let's see. That's right, you can't win. So now I'm gonna get this. All right, got some help. I'm gonna get more if I can, though. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. May I help you? You may, but first I have to drop the price. Yes, I can't win. No, you can't win. I am gonna win, because I'm better than you are. So I should do the review. All right, I'm gonna grab that. Did you hear the Elvis impression before? All right. Now I can still get more. Um, I should probably, if I can afford it, I should get the feather. I think I can afford it. 150. I'm gonna get it. So if I fall off the edge, that prevents me from dying. If I, you know. So it's definitely something I want. But you know what? I'd also like. I'd also. I honestly. Well, you know what? Some, like, wine should come up, like, eventually, like, on the stage. I could probably get through the stage. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm feeling that I want another feather. I'm going to get the other feather. And you know what? I have 150 left. I could actually, if he, if he sells it to me, I could get more health. I'm going to spend the other $100 on health. And I'm going to have full health. I'm going to have two feathers. And I'm going to be good to go. You see this bottle, by the way? That bottle goes into the barrel, and then you can fill up the barrel. But we'll do that later. Right now, I want full health. Now, I'm in good shape. We got full health. We got the feather. We got some hammers. We're pretty, we're pretty good to go. So there you go. 
So hopefully I'm making this game pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the, the biggest tip I can give you, well, <laughs> um, as far as the game goes, is to f farm on the first level. You do that, you do that, you're good. Oh man, these guys just falling out of nowhere. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. See, I'm low on hearts now, but... Can I get these in one hit? Oh, I can get those in one hit now. God, come on. See, I can't even get these guys because, like... Ah! Good thing I bought all that extra health, I guess. There we go. Now I want that. Oh, oh, nice. Terrible. Man, just get me out of here. Some of these graphics definitely remind me of Metroid. All right. So now, I, I don't have the money for any of this. I can't afford anything now, see? So we're gonna just leave. Now I can stay and fight these guys, but they're jumping all over the place, so like they're likely to just kill me, so I'm not, I don't wanna deal with them. I'm gonna jump through the other side. It's like that kind of game. So this is like Super Mario Brothers 3, uh, World 7 with the pipes. To where you like, you know, it reminds me of that. It's like you're just going up vertically, and then you got these like things that you gotta ride. In Mario, it's like the those things that like light up, and then you can jump on them, and then it changes the directions. This sort of reminds me of what they did with that. It's weird to see Mar Mario with like vertical stages like that. Any doubts? I can't. So you can you can kill those guys. All right, what's in here? Can you endure the hardship training challenge? Can you do it? So here's a little secret. You stand over here, and then you, all you have to deal with is the stuff above you or here, and then you don't have to be like jumping all over the place. You can't do this on all the training things, but you can do it on this one at least. So when you can do it, do it. Little, little, little trick for you. See, I got, I got the tricks. I did a whole series on the glitches and tricks. Have you all seen it? If you haven't watched Mike's Game Glitches, I, I did an entire series years ago. Mike's Game Glitches, where I did all kinds of NES, Super Nintendo glitches and all that. Okay, so what do I want? Uh, so the weapons. Here's what stinks about this game, is you get these upgrades, right? You need both of these to, um, like, you can't use that fire unless you have the bow, right? Because you're not going to, like, sh I, I don't think, at least, I think those go in combination. So it's like, you need uh, both of those, I think. So I might, I feel like I might as well get this one, because I think this is a protective ring around you. Let's see if that's true. It is. It is true. But when I get to the next level, I think they take that away. And that is something about this game that I do not like. <laughs> it's like you get all these cool upgrades and you get like the bow and you get this and that. And then, and then they're like, oh, sorry, gone now. And it's like, hey, I paid money for that. Why are you taking it away? So like, that's it. I think at, when it goes to the next level, I'm pretty sure this will go away. Yeah, see, gone. So why even bother give they give it to me at the end of the stage and then it's gone. So the other things too would be gone too. So it's like it's like if you're playing Zelda and then you're in level six and then you get the wand and then you leave level six and then you're back in the overworld and then they're like, oh you don't have the wand anymore. And it's like, well what? And they're like, I don't know, you have to buy another wand and it'll be nine hundred dollars. 
So you wonder why Zelda was more popular than Kid Icarus? There, how about that? How about that reason? Anyway, so you're gonna get we're gonna get the magical hot dog. You guys wanna see you guys wanna see the magic hot dog? It's right here. Alright. There it is. So here's what you do. I got these I got these hammers, right? See the ten hammers? I'm gonna pull out my big hammer. And then I'm gonna smash I'm gonna smash this. Hang on a second. Alright, I'm smashing it with my big hammer. Now let me smash this with my big hammer. Alright, I smashed both of them with my big hammer. And that adds the soldiers down there to the bottom. Centurions. I don't know what they call them in this. Like, the Greek soldiers. They're, they're added. The angels. Whatever. Um, and the more of those you get, they'll help you out in the boss fight. But, like, do they really? So I played this before, and it's like, they're supposed to, like, help you in boss fights, but they're not really very great. You can do it anyway. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it also, they're not, they're not great. So now the next problem here is that I need to get all these items. So the pencil, um, so there's, there's the map. The hot dog, by the way, was the check sheet. It was the map. Um, so you essentially put, uh... You mark the map with the pencil, right? So let's get the pencil. So like if I'm walking, so right now it's like, where is Pit on that map? It doesn't show Pit on the map, right? There's no like dot. If you're playing The Legend of Zelda and you're with Link, it shows the dot on the on the dungeon map because it's just like, you just get it. Uh, thank you, Sammy, also, by the way, for getting this up to Zanato. But in this game, you gotta buy items to mark your map, essentially, or show your map position. So you need that, and that'll, that'll show you, like, which rooms you're in, but you also need the torch. So watch this. So see the map? There's nothing on it, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start moving on the map. I just wanna show, to show you, like, how stupid this is. That was actually a really good jump. So here, and I'll go, I'll go up one. I think is this the hospital up here? So if you get turned, if you if the eggplants turn you like into an eggplant, eggplant wizards turn you into an eggplant. You come here to heal. But anyway, so that there it shows right there. The green now on the like waffle map um, shows where um, it, it's like he's like marking the map with the pencil. But there's no, it doesn't show the position. So you need, now I need the torch. Do I really need to spend my money on the torch? Like, I probably don't honestly need it, but just for the sake of this, I kind of want to get it to show you. But, um, it's just like, it's stupid. It's, it's, it's pretty stupid. I feel like you could just skip, like, a lot of the stuff and just pretty much just go to the boss. I mean, for this, you probably want a couple of these, like, soldiers to help you out. Like, I'm not saying to get none of them, but I don't think you need all that many. So, like, okay, so I've, I have seven hammers. I don't feel like I need any more hammers. Um, but I do, I want to get that torch. So I think when I drop the prices, it's, like, 70 or something, so, or 75 or whatever, the, whatever it is. That actually, that might be enough. So let's let's take a look. Oh, okay, and now now he's not gonna like have the torch on the screen. I'm gonna keep doing this until it shows it. There it is. Okay. So let's drop it. I'm hitting A and B on this on the second controller. So it's it's no wonder why um, kids didn't figure this out or was able to. Be, okay, 70 it is. So now we're gonna grab that. And now it's gonna show my position on the map. See, now it's like, it's showing it. So all these things you have to do to get your map to like show you where you are is ridiculous. I think that when, I think when you go into the stage, you should just have that. You should have the map, 
the position, the whole thing. I don't even think, like, that's just a giant waste of time. In my opinion. Because most other games would just, you would just have it. So I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a fan of that. I guess you could also now that I know that, like, you could also play this game and just not get any of that stuff. But the thing is, like, I wanted to explain to you how like pointless and stupid it is. It's like I guess I could I might as well get these. All right, so. Uh, Anyway, so and now at this point, basically, I'm gonna walk around this dungeon until I find the boss. Sometimes there's like um, hot springs to fill your health up, so that'd be nice to find a hot spring, but pretty much we're just looking for the boss. Who, who's the boss? We'll be back in a moment. Stick around. And also, if he's got this pencil, you think he could mark, like, what, like, a little bit better than that? Like, it doesn't even, it, it, you, you think there could be, like, a plus that shows wh where the hospitals are? He can't even just make a plus to show, like, where the hospitals are on this map. It's like there's very little information that he's marking down. I think it should be a little more, you know, you, you do all this work to have pit mark the map, and then he's not even marking it well. Like, if I could talk to Pitt, I would be like, hey Pitt, why do you suck so much? That was that, if, like, you know you ever think about that, you, oh, if you could interview a video game character, I would like to interview Pitt. He would be the one I would pick, you know? If you want to interview Donkey Kong, or if you want to interview Birdo or something like that. Birdo would be another good interview, I, I do have to say. So I guess I I think I have to get up there and then like drop down over there somehow. So I gotta figure out how to do that. So I guess we gotta go back. So another thing I would say is like, yeah, don't waste too much time get, getting like all these statues and whatever. Cause you get to the boss and then it's like, they don't, they don't help, they don't help that much. A little bit, they help a little bit. Oh, I thought I could go down from here. Really? All right, this is where I'm gonna get lost. Now I also need to get health. And another thing is, if I die, um, I think it takes everything away, and then I have to like rebuy everything. Great game, right? Let me see if I can buy some help. Two ten. How much is this gonna be? What do you make it? Make it one hundred. Good. All right. I'm gonna go back. So I'm sorry. One of these is the doctor hospital. And like, is, I'm sorry. I already freaking forgot. Okay, so that's the hospital. So I didn't go up on the next one. So that's probably where I needed to go. I think that's the only way I haven't been yet. Let me try that. If I can get away from the snakes, which are annoying. I don't. I hate the snakes. Not to make an Indiana Jones joke. I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So now let's see where we are on this map. So now I'm up there. All right. And do I have? I have no hammers left, so we don't even have to worry about these statues anyway. Not that they even matter in the first place. Okay, this is where we're gonna have a problem. Hang on. So these are these are the dreaded eggplant wizards. Whew. Feel 
very weak versus them. So I go up or do I go here? Oh man, this is what I don't know. Oh my god. No! Oh, what the? What? Oh. Uh, Alright, at least I know where to go. Kind of. Oh my god. Great game, huh? So now, now I'm just a huge eggplant. But, you go up here and I can heal. So I'm gonna heal. Hey Dextros, how you doing? Kid Icarus is in the official Nintendo Player's Guide, 1987, page 68. Okay, the play... Oh, man, I wonder if I have that. The Nintendo's Player's Guide. I have to look through and say... Um, I probably do. So I need... Wait, so, like... I need 100 for more health. I am going to need some health to get through this. So, sorry. This is gonna take a while. I mean, it's Kid Icarus. It's not gonna, this isn't gonna happen easily. All right, there's 100, there's enough. Doot, 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 doot. And it, you, I'm hitting it now, you gotta wait for the text to go by. A big improvement, I think, would have been if they would have just put the text on the screen, like, boom, if all the text is just there. But you gotta wait for the text to spell out. And that drives me crazy. I do not, I do not care for that. I do not. So, all right, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go up on this. I think this is the one. Oh, no! So the real problem here is that I have to get by these eggplant wizards. If I can do that, uh, maybe I'll beat this. <laughs> maybe. They really are very annoying enemies. Or maybe I could try to keep going, and then later on... No! Alright, so... Uh, the eggplant wizard turned me into an eggplant. Again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to go back now to the hospital. And then there's a, there's a nurse in the hospital. And she's going to she's gonna take care. So I turned into this big eggplant. So she's going to take care of my big eggplant problem. Thank you, nurse, for taking care of my eggplant. So we're all good. Taken care of, no problem. It's not. It's not that big a deal. You just got to go back a little bit, get taken care of by the nurse, and then you you progress. We're not gonna. We're not gonna freak out about this. It's really not a problem. All right. So let's see if I can actually get by this. So if you stay near the eggplant wizard, get away from me. You can do that. Alright. So should I try to go up instead? I don't know. Can I even get up there? Oh, if I had a hammer, I could smash one of those out of the way and then get up there. I'm gonna just... Oh, boy. I wonder if I do have to go up. There we go. Good. All right. Don't be any more eggplant wizards. See, now oh, this is better. This also, this might be where I drop, so I'm gonna probably like, drop to the left, I'm gonna assume. 
Yeah, this is the part. All right, remember that from earlier? All right, good. I act, by the way, I actually remembered that, so, uh, excuse me. There are ve there's been very few times in the history of my streaming where I've been able to remember something. That is one of the rare examples of uh, that I remember that I had to like go to the left there. So um, I'm congratulating myself for, for, I think there's been about three times in the, in the last seven years where I've remembered something. So that's a big deal for me, and, my fa and now that's my favorite part of the stream. Uh, Warlord1421, thank you very much for the sub. Wait, way too, way too long? You're talking about me? What's way too long? It's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> no, really, are you saying that it was a long time since you subbed to the channel? What are you ta talking about? Get good. I I'm try. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, the length of you your sub. Okay. It's been too long. I see. I thought you were talking about something else. Okay. Now. Now I get it. Okay. This is the hot spring. Fill it up. Here we go. So the other thing is that from here, I think you can still upgrade your health. Because I know the energy bar gets more than that. So I don't know if like I should destroy more enemies before I go. Because I feel like you're supposed to spend like quite a while on these levels, and I'm kind of... I think they, they assume that you're going to be lost for a really long time. You're going to kill, like, tons of enemies and stuff, so I want to make sure that I... <gasps> no! Hospital. Oh my god. <gasps> this is where the boss is. If I would have just made it through that, oh my god, we'd be done. It's just my eggplant is a problem right now. Uh, Brembo, thank you very much for the sub. You think that could heal me too? That'd be nice. Takes like five minutes to go away or more, question mark. I don't think it will ever go away unless you go to the nurse. I explained that in the beginning. I've explained that several times, Alex. He says, you did this two years ago. Why are you doing this again? So I, I found out that there's a second quest. And I, I remember I was talking about... Remember when I talked for like 10 minutes about second quests? And Zelda 2... Or I'm sorry, in the second quest of Zelda 1. And then I talked about Castlevania 3... Dracula's Curse and doing loop two of that. Do you remember all that? You don't remember all that because you weren't here or you weren't listening. Maybe both. But that's okay. It'll, it'll be okay. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go from here because I'm gonna have to find where this hospital place is. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to go back. And we're gonna have to make it through this whole thing again. So this is just great. It's just great. Classic Mike Cade, thank you very much for gifting all the subs out. And uh, first though, uh, Untold Darkness gifted a bunch of subs to Robo. Thank you, or gifted a sub to Robo. And then Classic Mike Cade gifted a bunch of subs to Demon uh, Chris Crystallis. Crystalis, Angry Platypus, Chris G, 1988, Gummy92, and maybe Hugo. You guys got gift subs from Classic Mike Cade. Thank you, Classic Mike Cade. Appreciate it. We got a hype train roll. Oh, my God. So we have a level two hype train going. Four minutes to get to uh, level three, and somebody just subbed again, and we got some bits. I think bits go to the hype train, too, don't they? Thank you, Untold Darkness, for the bits, and Joshua also subbed, and we are, so we're at 90% with three minutes and 40 seconds to go, so if anybody basically does anything, we'll make it to level three, so thank you very much for that. The other thing about it is, uh, I, we had a stream, um, you know what, first of all, let me get some help, I guess. We had a stream, I don't remember what it was, but I was streaming something, and it was maybe like a month ago or something, and we, I don't know what it was, but we got to a level nine, uh, height train, where it used to stop on level five, I think was the most you could do, but now... They've made it to where you can go beyond that. So if we ever make it to a level 10 hype train someday, um, that would be the most. So the most we've ever had is level 9 hype train on, on this channel. I, I remember that, and that was wild. Um, and Desert Mike 680 thank you for the sub. And Carnage007, thank you for, for the sub. Should you sub? Hey, you Definitely. Not Zelda, to, dude, not only should you subscribe... But you should also you should first you should should subscribe then you should gift out subs to the community. Now, who in here thinks that he should not only subscribe but he should give you a sub if you don't have one? I think a lot of people would probably agree that you should probably give other people subs. <laughs> See? Robin uh, T T V says definitely, and and Alex says me and see they're all saying they want that, so it's not just me. So not by the way, not only should you subscribe, not only should you gift out subs to the community, but when you watch this later, you should like the video, you should you should subscribe. Uh, like, subscribe, what else did they say? Like, subscribe. Oh, click, click the bell. I knew there was another thing. Then you should click the bell. And I, and I even go a step beyond that. Not only should, on YouTube, but should you click the bell. When you see the bell thing, there's like a drop down window. And then it says, would you like some of the notifications? None of the notifications or all of the notifications? What you do is you select all of the notifications. And then if you've done all that, You've subscribed. You've clicked the bell. And then you've clicked all. And you've, let's just say, you probably won't do all those things, but let's say that you did do all those things. Then YouTube will probably still not send out the notification to you that, that the person that you subscribe to put out a video and you're like, oh, I, I, that's why I click subscribe because when they put out a new video, I want to see the person's new video. And I clicked the bell, I did all these things to make sure even on top of it, and then you still won't get the video. Do you want to know how it actually works? Here's how it actually works. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how it actually works. It works like this. Let's say that you're subscribed to three people. You're subscribed to... Um, uh, uh, Manny, Mo, and Jack. Now, Manny, you watch his videos every day. You're like, uh, you're, you're just looking, you, you go into YouTube, you watch his whole video, you watch it, it's great. Then the next day, you clicked on Manny's video again, and then you watch Manny's whole video, it's great. And then there's Joe and there's Jack. Now, Jack, 
you've seen his videos before, but you haven't watched it. It's been a few months since you've watched Jack's videos. You still like Jack. Jack's fine. But you haven't watched Jack's video in a while. It's probably been like a year since you've watched Jack's videos. He's good, he's Jack, whatever, but you're more into watching Manny. When you go into YouTube, YouTube's gonna show you Manny's videos because you've been watching Man Manny's videos and they're gonna show you Manny's videos, but then they're also gonna show you like The Tonight Show and they're gonna show you like the Ro Dwayne The Rock Johnson's new movie trailer. They're gonna show you that stuff. And poor old Jack that you subscribed to like eight years ago, he's, he might as well be dead in a ditch because <laughs> that's how YouTube actually works. Now don't you, now let me tell you how I would have it work. Here's how I would have it work. Ready for this? If you subscribe to a channel and they put out a video, you get the notification and it gets sent to you, period. And then if you subscribe to another channel, now you're subscribed to two channels. Any video that they get sent out, you when you log into YouTube, you see that they put out a new video because you subscribe to them. Regardless if it was two years ago, 10 years ago, whenever, you see their new video because at one point you subscribe to them. And then you know what it would be? Let's say a video pops up and it's one of Jack's videos and you look at it and you say, you know what, I don't like Jack anymore. It should be your decision to unsubscribe from Jack and then you don't have to see Jack's videos anymore. It should be your decision. But what YouTube does is they make it their decision of what they want you to see and it shouldn't work that way. It's not right. But that's what they want. That's how, that's how they want it to work. So, poor old Jack is dead in a ditch. Thanks, YouTube. That said, uh, you know, Manny, Mo, and Jack, they're all like really creepy anyway, so you probably shouldn't even be watching any of their videos. They're just like, I mean, listen, Manny, Mo, and Jack, they kind of suck. They got those like mustaches and weird glasses and stuff, so don't, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, when you go to Manny, Mo, and Jack's, when you go to the Pep Boys YouTube channel, how many, uh, what I'm trying to tell you guys is you gotta subscribe to the Pep Boys YouTube channel. That is the point. No! All right, so I got hit by uh, the eggplant wizards. So I gotta go um, change back from uh, the eggplant into um, pit again. So hang on a minute, I gotta make it back over to where the hospital is. So the hospital is is around the around the corner here. And you know, you can't fire when you're the, the eggplant, which is pretty unfortunate. So right now I gotta kinda just like wait and kinda like jump around these guys because you don't want your help to get too much taken away. All right, so she, I got to the nurse here, and she was gonna help me out. All right, now we're good. Now, if I just um, get a couple of these guys, you know, you know what I remember? If you get a hundred uh, hearts here in this game, that's enough to be able to buy. If you, if you drop the prices, that's enough to buy the. Um, the wine, so that Pitt can get wine drunk. And I think that that was really the purpose of Nintendo making this game. They're like, we don't necessarily want to make a good game. We just want a game where angels are getting wine drunk, like real filthy, like they're vomiting like all over themselves. They're just drinking red wine. And then the, the angels wear like white, right? 
and they got the angel wings, and then they're drinking the red wine, and then the red wine's like spilling onto the angel's like shirt. And now you got this like angel who's like earlier in the day the angel had like a sausage sandwich, and now he drank way too much red wine and he like barfed all over himself. So now he's got like almost like a bloody like like red wine vomit like with sausage chunks going going down, going down his like shirt. And, and, and that I think that that is what they had in mind when they thought to make uh, Kid Icarus on NES. That's the way I see it anyway. I don't know what the actual truth of it is, but here we go. Alright, we got by a couple of them. So I think then there's going to be two more rooms of eggplant wizards, and if I can also get by those when I get to it, then I'll be okay. Is it right here? Will I go, gotta go to the left? Probably, yes it is. Alright, I'm not going to worry about getting hit because there is a, um, there's a hot spring coming up, so we're all, we're, we're going to be, we're going to be all good. Here comes the hot spring. So the problem here is that I gotta make it by these eggplant wizards. If I can make it by the eggplant wizards, we're, we're gonna be golden. So here comes the hard part. Well, after this. I think it's, after, I think it's right here. Oh, no, it's after this. not up. So there's one more room of the eggplant wizards, right? Oh, God. oh then there's this. Okay. I'm remembering this a little bit wrong here. God, man. There's none, no more. Oh, I, I did it, basically. Okay. We are in good shape, then. All right, I'm just going to go in and do this. Hopefully, I can do it. Oh, you see, oh they're giving me so much help. Thanks, little angel guys. So they do display the health on the bottom right, which is nice. Yeah, there it is. Jeez. All right. What a pain. Do 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 do. There's the first dungeon. I feel like how most of my videos revolve around me complaining about YouTube. <laughs> Captain TCX, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you, Panic. You love the YouTube rants? Good, thank you. Oh look, it's the stage that most people never see. Yeah, so now we're on a horizontal stage. Right, and by the way, look at what I have now. Now it gives me this like item back. Which is great, because look at this. So this stuff is like dropping, right? And then you can, you can do this. Oh, 
Okay. See, okay, so the other thing is, like, you want to hang out in these areas because... Don't just be rushing through this, because these guys that drop from the sky are giving all these big hearts, which you, which you want. Alright, so, like... Any more gonna come? No? Alright, so I'm gonna go in here. And once again, I, I need health, so I'm gonna I am gonna buy health. At some point, there will come a hot spring, but like, and eventually I'll buy bottles when I can. Oh my god! Because I don't have the upgrade. I guess there's another upgrade for the arrows. Oh, so I made it more expensive. Well, I wasn't gonna buy the health for that price anyway. So here. So I'm gonna hang out here basically and try to get as many hearts as I can. And at a certain point they stop coming. So that's why like on the first stage, when there's that like sort of grinding spot, a lot of these areas the enemies stop coming, but that's a spot where the enemies keep coming forever. So oh man, I shouldn't have went in there yet. Oh, hot spring though. Okay, can't be too upset. This is one of the only classic NES, like, earlier games that you've never played. Yeah. Oh, well, most people haven't. Uh, Cowbell, thank you very much for the sub. It's usually, like, Metroid. And I've done Metroid streams. But I feel like there's so many people that stream Metroid and are so good at Metroid. Like, I, like you guys know, like, I'm better at Zelda. Um, I feel like leave it, leave Metroid up to other streamers and, you know, and I've done it. I, I've, I've done it. I'm just not like great at it. You know, there's so many people that can tell you like every little detail and secret in Metroid. And I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not good at it like that. It's like I've, I've beaten the game, you know, um, and I like it. I like Metroid. I'm just not, I don't know it as well. Yeah, as I know, like Zelda. Um, I love, I love it though. I like, I love um, Metroid on NES, and um, I love Metroid Fusion. That was probably like, I that was one of the Game Boy. I had it on like the uh, the Game Boy, like the SP model. I would play it on that back a long time ago. Um, and man, I, I like love that game, Metroid uh, Fusion. And then it's been such a long time, but I I, I played through um, Metroid Prime. Like those are cool. Like GameCube. Um, I, I like those too. Um, someday, someday I really should play through those. Honestly, the thing is, so Metroid Prime, I've only beaten. I think one time. Um, I played it more, but as far as like actually going through the entire game and beating it, I'm pretty sure I only did that once. Um, so it's like I've done it, but I'm not like good at it, and I don't really remember like everything I'm supposed to do and everything. And I get very like lost and you know whatever. But a great, 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 great game though. Like love it. I'm just not good at it. Um, I still love that game though. It's like that GameCube era, you know, stuff was like so like top top tier back then. And there, there's there's GameCube games that really suck, but you know, like anything. But there's so many like good games. Very very mixed bag, GameCube. All right, so I already have, I have the wine barrel. So, and I have two feathers. So at this point, if I can, oh, it's I'm not like upgraded. He's not gonna let me. It, would he, is he gonna make that like nine hundred dollars if I do that? Let me. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, he's not gonna do anything. He doesn't let me do anything. All right, so forget that basically. Just forget it. Okay. 
See, I'm, I'm kind of like just hanging out here. Just trying to fill up my... I mean, that's it. And then people are like, you know, oh, Kid Icarus is like such a hard game. Like, it's... The eggplant wizards are annoying. But they're more annoying than they're hard. You see, I just like kept, kind of kept going through the dungeon and eventually you get through it. It's like... Like... I just don't know that I can... Oh, that's about as unlucky as you can possibly get. Um, oh, yeah, like that, that room. So th there's... Apparently, I've heard there's a ways to figure those rooms out. That's something I have no idea how, how people do that. If you're, like, a, the master of Kid Icarus, then you can do that kind of stuff. I, I, I don't know. I just go in. I, I hit a couple things, see if I can get a couple... You know, hearts or something, and then to move on. And I don't even know, like, how necessary is it to, I mean, maybe on the second quest that would become more necessary to, like, make sure you do well in those rooms. Okay, so here we go. So I think, is it gonna turn purple? Let's say. Purple pit! All right, so now I can intimidate the shop owners. I get to a shop. I got quite a bit of money here. You can also like farm these guys, kind of. Like these pink dudes. They're kind of they're kind of goofy. Let's see what's in here. This is probably a shop, right? Okay, so we're gonna do some intimidation of these. Um, I don't think I want the help. I mean, the only thing here I really want is I would like to have more feathers. Because at some point, I'm going to start falling off a lot. And those, having those is, like, really important. So I should have, like, three now, right? If you die, they, I think they don't take those away, at least. That's something that stays. Thank God. At least something stays. I'm actually just going to keep kind of buying um, I eventually need to start filling up the the wine barrel, so I'm gonna fill up the wine. So see in the bottom left, there's a wine barrel says zero. So I grab that, right? So that starts like filling up the wine barrel. So it's like later in the game. Let's say you run at, totally out of health, um, and you're like fighting an enemy or something. It will give you back a little bit of health. It doesn't fill your meter, but it gives you like a little bit back so that you don't die. So th th like that's like a safety precaution kind of thing. So you definitely want to have that. Um, I'm gonna buy, I would like to have one more feather because this does get to the point where it's like you really need these feathers. So now I have four, that should be enough. Four is pretty good. And from here I kind of just want to fill out the, the wine barrel. We're gonna get I mean, really, it's like a big part of this game is wine and filling up that wine barrel so that, you know, when you when you do these levels and fight these bosses, you don't you don't die because you can you're not going to die because you're, you're you got enough wine. You're, you're good to go. I almost wonder, is that Nintendo telling you to drink wine? They're like, yo, if you got wine, you're good. You're good to go. Okay, so this part you can't jump on top of the door. So this you actually have to like stand here and like sort of protect yourself. And I guess the like protection shield that you have like doesn't help you here either. So you got to be like using your your arrows. But this goes on for like a minute, and then you get uh, some. Oh, you know what this is? This is going to be either the the bow the protection shield, and then the fire thing. So I'll probably take like the bow or whatever. That, that, that's the other thing. Cause right now, see how I have, it's shown the weapon. So you want to get like all these weapons, which they take away from you anyway, sometimes. Like, or there's areas where you can't use them, I guess, like in the dungeons, I guess. So I'm gonna grab that. And then, so now I have that. So the, so the next time I need that, I guess it doesn't go further because that, I, oh, now it goes across the screen because I got that. So that's good to have. And then after that, we'll get the fire the next time we see one of those, basically. 
So I think that's what it is, is when you're, maybe when you're in the dungeons, you can't use it. I guess. Alright, so this is... nothing. That might be, like, if you kill enough enemies, something happens. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know every single thing about this. And then here, it's like, you stand here and farm more. It's even necessary, I don't know. I don't like these guys. I don't think they, they continually come forever, though, in this area. Let's see if it stops. I'll, I'll keep doing this until... See? It stops, so... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Do I get any power-ups? Give me something. N nothing. Great. Alright, let's see how unlucky I can be. I'm gonna do one more. Alright, that, that's all I'm gonna do. I just guess. I like that it can go all the way across the screen. Like, that's fantastic. And I, I think I'm... I might be wrong about this, but I think this level might have, like, a hidden door or something. And if it does, I don't know where it is. But I think there is some kind of hidden door they can, like, open or something. It's like you shoot around here or something like that. I don't know. I might be making this up. Like, if you do, like... I feel like there was something somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. Not sure. I might be thinking of another game. Uh, that's to uh, sorry, that's a totally different game. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm, like, getting a little low on health here. I need to, um, really find another hot spring soon, and then nothing. So I probably didn't kill enough enemies, so I'm probably missing something there. I don't know what, but I'm missing something. And that's where the protection ring helps. The protection wand! What's in here? Oh, and here's the hot spring, good. Why does Kid Icarus threaten the score every time he finishes a stage? Oh, look at he like points up. I don't know. That's a good question too. Who knows? Maybe that's his like stance. It's like when you play Contra Three Alien Wars. There's a part where the screen like explodes on the first stage where the ship comes in or like the airplane comes in, and then the expert, the pro players, you're supposed to stand like this with both your guns in the air, or else you're not a badass. And that's how you play. Contra 3, Alien Wars on Super Nintendo. You gotta, you gotta do that stance. It's a very important. So I figure that Pitt is trying to... He's trying to look cool. He's, he's doing a pose. That, I think that that's what it's about. He's like, listen, Mario gets all the attention. Samus gets all the attention. I get nothing. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna at least attempt to look cool by doing a little pose here. All right, this guy, these are the like most dangerous enemies in the game right here because they can take your thing away. These guys are more dangerous than the eggplant wizards. If they touch you, you lose that and you do not want that to happen. So yeah, those are pretty much the most dangerous enemies. Eggplant wizards are, are their most annoying enemies. These are the most dangerous enemies. So if I can make it by these. <sighs> no! Oh, wow! I just... I'm surprised that didn't take that away. I got lucky. That must have been like a half a pixel off. 
Thank you, God. Good. These guys come in, right? They're coming up. Here they are. See, I remember. I remember this crap. And this this whole area is usually where I end up using a lot of these feathers because I'll, I'll fall off. Oh crap. No. Alright, let's see what's in here. So I can intimidate him here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna fill the wine barrel. So let's drop the prite. Oh, you, wait, I can't? Hey, I'm like strong. All right, well they won't let me intimidate him for some reason. That stinks. I wanted to fill up the wine barrel more. I don't understand. All right, there's, some, there's something I don't quite understand. So those guys, they won't let me do the trick to. Oh, and there you go. See, I knew it. I always fall in this area. And then it runs out. So there you go. I, I, I used one. It was going to happen at some point. See, the good news is this goes all the way across the screen. Oh, oh, that was like a Ninja Gaiden. It like glitched the enemy out. Uh, like the, those like witches or whatever they're called, like in, uh, in, in the first Ninja Gaiden on like one of the later stages, like you can do that to where you like despawn is the word I'm looking for. We despawned the enemy there. There we go. Mike thought of his gamer terminology. Only took me a minute, but I, I, I got it. I hate these Grouchos. not like them. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. It's a full heart, right? Yeah. Oh, oh! Psh. Can't even grab the hearts. Oh, really? What am I doing? Alright, well now I lost two. I'm doing a really bad job, like, jumping... So it's not like a huge deal, but and what I probably can't intimidate this guy either, right? Oh, do you have to be down here? I don't know. Is there like two different shopkeepers or something? I I, I don't. That guy. What is he like sitting in front of a desk or something? Well, anyway, they won't let me do anything with him. Sucks. I have like almost enough, like it's almost full now, like I mean the more the more the merrier. Hee hee hee. Alright, I'll send it. So where am I on this? Stage Oh oh we got the power up! Okay, that's good. So I, now I'm on stage 2-3. Okay. I'm going to hang out here for a second. I like these stages, these like nighttime stages. I wish there was like, more stages like this. I feel like that if the game would have started uh, horizontally like this, maybe it would have given like people time to like get accustomed to the controls. Until and to like what the game is and everything. And then later on throw in you know, throw in the harder stuff. And throw in the vertical stages or whatever. Give you a chance to get some feathers in case you fall off, like instead of this like throw you in on the first stage. You have no health when you first start the game. Very, very little. And it's, it's ridiculous. This game is just ridiculous. 
Alright, so I have only two feathers left. I have to be very careful about these jumps. And at some point, honestly, I'm gonna buy another feather because... I'm, I'm actually using more of them, I think. Than I normally would. So I'm not doing great. Also, that whole dungeon where I, like, was dying with the eggplant wizards was not good either. Alright, let's see. I don't know, man. I'm gonna do one more. Alright. And this doesn't matter anyway, because, like, the hammers, I don't care anymore. The hearts, I don't care. Now, now I just need... I need the shop, is what I need. I need a hot spring. I need a hot spring that would save my day. I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. Good. If I'm patient, part for me is like waiting. Don't you hate waiting in games? Alright. Uh, please be a regular shop. I think it is. Oh no, this is an endurance thing. Oh crap. Uh, and hang on one sec. So I have an endurance coming up, but also uh, Atomic uh, subbed my a Monty Python fan. We are the knights who say me, me, me. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, now, I, now I sound like um, it's like that Homer Simpson, right? Uh, yeah. No, I, I like it. Sure. Uh, Ninja two thousand Ulav uh, Minky Sardonic Pickle Dusty Corpse Mark My Words um, Paranormal Mindless Desk Raven and uh, Galax all got. Gift subs from Porcelain Pixies, is it? Thank you very much, Porcelain Pixies, for gifting us subs to the community. Appreciate that. Nerd! Nerd! You know what? I'm sitting here doing an in depth dive on, like, Kid Icarus. So, like, you already knew that I was a nerd just by the entirety of this whole entire stream. So, we could also talk about Star Trek and Lord of the Rings. I've been streaming, like, Kingdom Rush a lot lately, so we've been talking quite a bit about Lord of the Rings. Um, I often talk about Star Trek and, and my opinions on Star Trek. Here we go. So now, um, the one I don't have is the fire, so I'm going to get that. Okay. Now we got that. And I don't need more hearts now because I'm full, so I'm just going to go. And we just want to make it to a hot spring or a shop or something. I'd be glad to make it to a store where I can spend some of this hard-earned heart money, heart currency. So if I go down there, is it going to be, like, a shop? Let's see. Please guess. Okay, so now I can save my ass here. This guy better let me do this. This guy does. So if he's selling, like... I don't know. This guy also looks like he's in front of a desk. Is that his shoulders? Is that supposed to... Oh, that's like his shoulders and his arms. Now I see it. I thought the, it was the guy's head behind the desk. Isn't that, like, an awful sprite? Like, this is a mainline, like, Nintendo game. Like, the, that's not... I think that's a really bad shop owner sprite. I'm sorry. Like, Pit is, looks great. But that shopkeeper? No.
In my opinion, um, no. Thanks. No thank you to him. It looks like the Castlevania book. <laughs> What does the fire upgrade do? Well, look at it. Do you see the sprite on the front of Pit? I think it's a more powerful shot. So if I hit enemies with it, it's just more powerful. Also, here's my opportunity to do this. So I'm gonna start by, so I have one thing in the barrel, right? I'm gonna fill the barrel up more. While I can do this also, I better, I better buy another feather. Basically, I'm just gonna spend all my money here because I need to. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You're good, Crunchy. He says, thanks for playing this game for me. Yeah, that is specifically, Crunchy. This is just for you, of course. It wasn't for everybody, every 650 people watching. It was, it was just for you. Let's make this guy feel special, I guess. Yeah, only you and only you. So yeah, look, I mean, the shot even looks different now. Like, see it? Yeah, so uh, this is pretty much fully powered up pit now, as far as I didn't know. I mean, at the end, it goes into the, like, shooter shmup section. But, um, pretty much, like, as far as, like, side-scrolling vertical stages, like, this is, this is full, fully powered pit here. I, I believe. Um, and listen, I don't have the money yet anyway to buy anything so, so I mean that might be like a challenge room but I don't want to do that so so I'm just gonna keep going Ooh. oh my god don't touch me jeez okay this is like super dangerous dangerous enemies in the entire game. Don't let them touch you. There's also bees that come later, and they're different than those guys. They look really similar, but they're, I'm pretty sure they're different. And they, they move, you see those, these guys, those guys hop, and the, the hopping ones are like the dangerous ones. The ones that come later, the bees, are like, you jump like this, and then they come at you like horizontally. Um... Those guys are not as bad. Because they don't take your weapon away, as far as I remember. I mean, I hope they don't. <laughs> I'll say that, and then they will. So this is level two, basically. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick break. We're on 2-4, this is the second dungeon. I will be back in a few minutes and we will continue on with Kid Icarus. I'll be right back.
guys i am back mike we like your pause music the break music yeah you like that it has the tekken music yeah we changed the music every once in a while i change the music can you leave again and play the music says Big Zep. Yeah. They're saying, how about a 48 hour Be Right Back stream? I would do that, but right now, I honestly, I gotta, fin I gotta finish this because I wanna do this. So, all right. We are on the second dungeon. And they're like, actually, we really actually wanted the, we just actually want the break. I could do that. You, do you wanna do a whole, a break? Just a, one day, we should do a break stream. It'd just be break <laughs> the whole time. It's just the break thing. Maybe. I'm not beyond doing that someday. Uh, here we go. So... Do I even use, like, the pencil and all? I mean, maybe I do. I don't know. I'm gonna get the stuff. I, I don't... Wait a second. I don't even have the map yet. Like, why buy, why buy that if I don't have the map? Goombas! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario Bros. 
There's like some people that get real angry at me. They're like, excuse me, we thought you said Mario Brothers. What is this Mario Bros shit, Mike? Where's the real Mike? Now we know you're not real because Mike doesn't say Mario Bros. He said Mario Brothers. So you are not the real Mike. I told you before that I'm not. The real Mike is at the gym doing squats. That's it. That's all, that's apparently all the real Mike does, by the way. Just, he goes to the gym and does squats and nothing, nothing else. Has no other thoughts or interests at all. Has, hasn't ever thought about anything else since, uh, ever. <laughs> Alright, uh, I do... All the, I want all this good good stuff. First of all, that. How many games completely changed the location of your character in the middle of the game? Everything was up top and now it's on the bottom. Uh, well, I mean, like games that like alter the like, gameplay back and forth. How about like? Doesn't Guardian Legend, it goes from like shooter shmup levels to, you know, like overhead. I mean, there's a lot of games. I don't know how you mean that exactly, but there's like a lot of, there's a lot of games that alternate, you know. I like that a lot of times when games do that. Um, you know, you have one. You might, you might have horizontal stuff. Then you got vertical stuff. Then you got like, you know, I, I, I and overhead things. They, they would be cool if this game had o uh, like overhead levels in addition um, to what they, what it already has. Like this is a cool idea for a game. Somebody should take Kid Icarus on NES and do a hack of it and fix the problems with it and then also like add to it. I think there should be, here you go. Kid Icarus hacks. That is what somebody needs to do. This, this game is like ripe to get a really good, so, you know, when, when I, I know some of the NES hacks I play are not great, but some are great. Take somebody who is really good with making those NES hacks, give them Kid Icarus, and really, like, it, it, like I think that this could be, like, a super amazing game. It just needs some, it just needs some changes and some work. But, like, it's it's got elements of being, it's like, it's like almost, I think this game is like 70% the way there. It's just not quite, and there's certain things that bog it down, you know? Um, maybe 60, 60% 60 the way there. It's 60% the way there. 70 was being a little too nice. Oh, I don't have enough money anymore, all right. Like at they could you could add more enemies like there's a lot of things you could do. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I know I'm gonna get hurt, but I don't want to get turned into an eggplant. So. I'm not worried about these statues anymore. I just don't care. They're, they're worthless. What am I gonna do? Buy hammers? Like, really? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, where am 
I supposed to be going here? <laughs> I don't know where the hell I'm going. Damn it. Could use some health. Could use some health. I feel bad. These guys just exist in this little ice realm, and here comes Pit, and he's got a magical f flaming bow and arrow, and these guys just go back and forth. They're not bothering anybody. They're just like nice little Goomba mushroom people that all they do is they just go back and forth. Let me shoot multiple arrows into them so that I can rip their hearts out. And their hearts are torn in half. This is terrible. Like, you know, kids sees this. They're like, "Mom, why does, why did, why did he, why does he do that? Why does he destroy their lives?" Like, well, that's just what he had to do, Billy. He's, he's a bastard. I think this is where the boss is. Or if it's not here, it's on ABC, starring Tony Danza and Judith Light. All right, here we go. So this is the boss. So you, 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 you do this, and he's got 10,000 health. His health is, is 180. Okay, here's something you could add. For, like, this, okay, how about, like, just take this boss fight out, or fix it? Like, I think this boss could also probably be shooting one fireball out. You can make it. You can make it like a little bit more than this because this is kind of nothing. I, I think he could shoot one fire, one fireball. Like you don't have to make it crazy. It doesn't have to be ridiculous. But he could be shooting one fireball around. Um, I think that. He could also change up the pattern. So he's got 200 health, right? How about when he gets down to 100 health, his pattern changes maybe a little bit? Or something else happens? Maybe halfway through. See how there's two platforms here? Maybe it goes down to one platform when you get his health halfway down. It's like, uh-oh, it's getting a little more difficult now. None of these things happen. It's just, you just do this. I think that the lava in the water, that lava that, that's there, I think it should move a little bit. It could be two frames of lava so that it looks like it's like moving. Uh... How about, so you see how there's icicles on the ceiling and this is like an ice dungeon? Maybe there's icicles that are dropping. Instead of a fireball, how about every once in a while some icicles drop? Um, these are just ideas I'm coming up with off the top of my head in two seconds that could make this may, maybe like a slightly more interesting fight. Because I think somebody was at Nintendo and they were like, uh, we need a boss to the second dungeon. And the guy's like, uh, how about like a dragon? And, and they're like, oh, sure. Might as well be. We don't care. So what does the dragon do? I don't know. He'll go up and down. It's like, okay. And that was, that was the whole conversation. There wasn't even a conversation. They just like put a boss in there and just make anything. Make anything we don't care. 
this boss shows a lack of giving a crap, in my opinion. The first boss is a little better. It's like the, th the three-headed guy, and then you're actually using your, um, your soldiers to take that guy out. Oh, I, I remember this guy, you, you try to use the soldiers on this guy, the, the, the boss just like kills those soldiers. It's like, it's pathetic. So it, you're, it's not even worth getting those soldiers. It's just a big waste of time. And, and, and it takes like too many hit points and it's just like, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. They, so somebody, if, you ha if they did a hack of that, they could make a more interesting boss. Dave and Confused84, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, but now there, there I was complaining, right? You know, I'm complaining, oh, the boss isn't good, boss isn't good. But now I feel like we're going to go into them carrying again. Because listen, I think that I like this music a lot on this stage. But hang on, I got to go. Let me take it away because I got to go in here first and fill my health up. Then you can have this annoying noise go on instead. I was going to tell you about how nice the sound is. Here's another thing you can do. That noise. How about we don't have that noise? Um, I don't like it. It's annoying. Have him just, you know what you do? You have him stand in here and you have like a little musical tune that plays instead of the ding, 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 ding. No ding, ding, ding. Have like a nice little like tune play instead. Anyway, this stage, I, I like the color choices on this stage and I like the music. I feel like maybe this game was like given to a few different people and like cert some people cared and some didn't. That's the impression I get. Like, half the team was, like, into this project, and half the team was like, we don't, we want to go home. We don't want to work on this. We wish, we, we wish we got put on Metroid. That was, that was half the team. Or who knows? I don't know how many people worked on this. I'm just making guesses of like how this went down. How did it go down? What is the D? I want you. You know how they, they had like these Nintendo books? It's like Nintendo art books and stuff like this. I want an entire book that's all just about Kid Icarus on NES. And I know there's other ones. It's like there's like uh, there's like a Game Boy game and whatever. There's like a couple other like Kid Icarus games. I just want the whole thing. Only the NES game. And I just want to know, bottom to top, everything, the story, I want the drawings, I want a whole entire book. Okay, so here's the bees. So you go like this. This is crazy. Watch this. You won't even believe. You're going to get shocked how these guys work. Ready for this? Watch this. And people are like, oh, Kid Icarus is like the hardest NES game, right? You ever hear people say that? They're like, oh, what's the hardest NES game? Oh, Kid Icarus. Oh, really? Hang on a second. Oh. Oof. Now, don't get me wrong. It, 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 there are parts of this game that can be a little difficult here and there, but like... Eh. I, I think I, I, I've done quite a bit, quite a bit more challenging things than, than this game. So he's gonna give me another upgrade. So now I'm like super, oh, now we're red. Now I'm super duper pit, but guess what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? So there's the exit door of the level, right? And now I'm like, I'm ultimately charged up. I'm red. And when we get to the dungeon, they're gonna take it away from me. 
But first we get to go through the um, bubblegum pink level, so that'll be fun. No! Ooh! And that is why you buy... See, that is something about this game that's tough. I have two feathers. Sometimes the platforming can be tough, and you, you can't be making mistakes there. So I will say that's one thing. So if, But if you buy the feathers, you, you should be good to go. And there, here comes the Metroids. First, I gotta do this, though. So, remember how I, sa how I was saying earlier? I was like, you know what? Some of the people that worked on this game probably cared, and some of the people probably wished that they were working on another game. Like, somebody saw, they're like, oh, th these guys in this department are working on Mario, and th these guys in this department are working on... Uh, you know, The Legend of Zelda. And, oh, what's going on in this room over here? Oh, they're making Metroid. Oh, man, that Metroid game looks really cool. Okay, what game do I get to work on? And they're like, you get to work on Kid Icarus. And he's like, oh, I don't, I don't want to work on Kid Icarus, though. I want to work on, I want to work on Metroid. So the guy gets stuck working on Kid Icarus, and then this, and then this is what happens. He's like, um, so there's that, there, there, that Metroid game's like happening, right? And, uh, so, <laughs> this is, this is how it's gonna go. I think there needs to be Metroids in this game, too. I think every Nintendo game should have Metroids in them. So do I have enough money to like get anything here? So I can't afford that. I can get a feather. I don't. Three, two. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna get one more feather. Cause that's the real problem is that I might fall off a bunch and then we're gonna have a problem, so. Me doing that right there, I mean, I know I probably should've brought health, but like, falling off the edge is a bigger problem because then you're gonna lose a lot of progress. And you do not want that. What just happened there? What hit me? I don't even know, understand what happened right there. The, the ground right here, somebody tell me, so there is a game, I have no idea what it is, but I know that there's another game that I played, I don't know if it's on NES or, or arcade or what, but there is something that looks exactly like the, the ground here in a different game. And every time I see this part, I'm like, I'm reminded of another game, but I, I never can think of what it is. But that, that shit is totally, like, in another game. And it might have come later, like, maybe they played Kid Icarus and they were like, oh, that's kind of cool. We'll, like, or maybe it was earlier, I don't know. I, I don't remember, but I know I've seen that elsewhere. That's why it's like nice when I have, you know, we got 700 people in here. Sometimes, oh shit, see? All right, I just used the feather, so that's why you gotta get them. I was looking at the number of people watching. Um, when you have hundreds of people watching and I have a question, sometimes out of that many people, somebody might usually have like an answer. Let's see, anybody have an idea? Bubble Bobble, hmm? Might be Bubble Bobble. Bubble, everybody's saying Bubble Bobble. Huh. Maybe that's what it is. 
Wait a second. I'm writing this down so I can look later. If anybody knows the exact part you're talking about, like tweet it to me or something. Maybe that actually sounds like it could be conceivably right. Bubble bobble. Oh shit. Is that what it is? That sounds right. Contra. Mmm. Maybe Contra. Those are both two really good guesses. Maybe Contra. That totally looks like something in Contra, doesn't it? Like, a spe but I'm trying to think what, like, specific part. It might be, that might be a better actual answer. B both of those sound totally like what it could be. Anyway, thank you. I think you, I think you guys are on to, on to something. Thank you. And then these are what, uh, olives, I guess. They're just nothing. Just weird, weird shapes. This is almost like an Atari game now. With the, with this weirdness. Whoa. It's like those Atari games. They would just make up like the weirdest stuff. So how many? I, I have two feathers left. I gotta be careful. Enemies are just appearing up on top of me. I guess I'll see what's in here. Okay, so... Oh, uh, oh I don't have enough for the wine. I, I wanted to fill the wine up more, but I don't have the money for it, so that's not great. And these guys also... You know, we're talking so much about how everything looks like Metroids, but those are almost like... Like Zoras, maybe? You know, Zora from, like, like Link to the Past or something? Like, every, everything looks like something in this area of the game, I guess is the point. You know? Everything looks derived from other games. bit of everything here. Oof. This is not... Okay, there we go. I hate the Reapers. I can't stand that music. That's something they created specifically for Kid Icarus. That's not from another game, and I can't stand it. <laughs> you know? Oh, how did I get down there? What did I just do? I guess I can win. Um, mm, do I really need that health? Not really. I don't have the money to fill up the bottle, which is what I really want. I think I'm going to not take anything. I don't know if that's a wise decision or not, but that's what I'm doing. Any more coming? Yep. Boom! Now, do these guys just keep coming forever? Crap. They stop. Okay. And that's the end of that. Do -do 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 -do. What is the requirement for how Pit looks at the end? I don't know. I'm going to guess it's the score. I hope it's not the time you take, because as you can see, I take forever to get through games. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm never thinking about speed when I play these games. Like, 
next time when I beat I beat this, I want to try out this second quest a little bit. I, I don't know how far I'll get in it. I just want to like try it, see what I can do, and then I don't know. Maybe I'll keep the Nintendo on or something, and I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with it. I, I but I haven't ever. That's why I wanted to do this. I wanted to just check out. I don't know that I can beat the second quest, but I'll check it out. We'll check it out. Go check it out. That's why I wanted to do this. I just wanted to look at it and sort of explore, explore that. So, but I have to get through the game in order to, to do that. So, I have no idea where I'm going or anything. Oh, pff, back to the beginning. What? Uh, I don't know. 
Haven't been here yet, huh? Whoa. Don't be eggplant people, please. May I stand here and like collect this? I'm in so much trouble here. please. <gasps> thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Yes! Holy moly! Mike hitting the pixel perfect shots. I know what part you're talking about. Please clip that part. That little snake that like dropped a minute ago. I was like, wow. Alright, here we go. Do, 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 do. Now we're playing with power. <laughs> no! At least I have health. All right, where was that shop? Or, um, oh my God. Or not shop, the um, hospital thing. I like, I would, uh, uh. That sucks. That <laughs> sucks so much. Oh my god, I can't. Oh no. Don't wanna go up here or something? And go like this way, I think. God damn it! No, it's not that way, right? I go up again, maybe? <sighs> now I gotta figure out how to get back to that hospital. There's probably multiple hospitals, but like... <gasps> what? This is like... No, I'm so lost. I'm so lost, I'm so lost, I'm so lost. I like how I'm like not finding any stores. Oh yeah, I had to go through here. Now I'm getting closer, I think, to where the hospital thing is. <gasps> what? And now these guys are here? What is going on? This is a different area than I think it is. I guess this is not what I thought. I'm, I'm like super lost. I do, you know what, at this point, I do need that map and pencil and all that. Oh my god, here it is. Thank you, god. Alright, maybe I can, you, I better be able to buy this stuff right now. Alright, I got the pencil. Where's that map, though? Like... lose the pencil and the torch if I die, like, that better not happen. I'm gonna get help, too. Let's stand here and farm for like an hour and a half. Here, I'm gonna get more help. Okay, so the right of the shop is the boss. So, all right, I have the pencil and the torch. I, I better keep that stuff. I, I, there's nothing I can do. I can't fight him. Oh my God. How did I end up at the boss? Who's the boss? I'll be back in a moment. Stick around. This is the worst situation you could have ever. 
Oh no, is it gonna use up all my barrels of health too? Oh no! <gasps> and they took away my pencil! Oh no, wait, they didn't take away the barrel of health. Did they actually think of that? That it would be totally, like, unfair? If you get stuck in a room as an eggplant? Okay, wait a second now. Now, that's great game design, if they actually thought... If they actually thought of that? I gotta, I gotta actually give them credit, if they actually thought of that. So ne never mind. Now, now I'm gonna give them credit. There, some, so maybe that happened to somebody playing it. They're like, listen, if somebody gets stuck in a room, with, and then they're in eggplant, and there's nothing that they can do, you know, they spent all this time get like filling up the wine barrel. Are we really gonna take away all the wine? Are we gonna really take away all their wine? Listen, guys, I know. We're Nintendo, and a lot of times we do unfair things and everything in our games, but I think we gotta draw a line in the sand somewhere. You can't go taking away a guy's wine. Can we all agree on that? Would you want your wine taken away? And they're all like, no, you know, and they're like, all right, maybe that, it is a video game, like, maybe that is going too far, okay. We'll let him. We'll let him keep. We'll let him keep his wine. We're not going to do anything else on the rest of this console. Uh, that would be nice. But we'll we'll let them keep their wine. That's the one thing you get if you play. If you play your video games, you get your, you get to have your booze. Cause you're gonna need it. You're gonna need the booze. If you're playing Nintendo games. You're gonna need some booze. Okay, we, we're gonna let him have that much. That's all you get. Nothing else that you get that. That's how it feels. I, I do have it right yeah. I got, I got a whole barrel of wine to get me through. Okay, still gotta rebuy the pencil though. Rebuy the pencil, rebuy the torch. They're like, yeah, well, that's a pencil. You can't, you're playing a video game, you can't deal with losing a pencil. Big deal, you lost your pencil. That's Baby Eta! <laughs> Get the out sub to Breakpoint. And Trey, thank you very much. That's baby Ita! And bring me my wine. Bring me my wine. Oh my god, it's the hot dog map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the hot dog map. Alright, we got our hot dog, and we're ready to go. Now we're gonna get the pencil. Now I need health. I need a lot of things here. Oh, no, no, no. Woo! 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 <laughs> the hell? Wow! I'm the cowboy Curtis. Oh my god, don't die again. Going like forever, like what am I gonna do? Didn't I go this way before? Like, am I gonna be able to go back? No, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go down. No, now I can't. 
gonna die again? Like, really? Well, now I know if I get see that shop that I shouldn't, like, go to the right. So we know we know the boss is to the right of a shop somewhere. So that is at least helpful information. Oh great, the, like the very beginning. <laughs> ah! So if you drop from the very, this is like Super Pitfall. I'm gonna die. Dropping into the shark's mouth. Oh. And then, yeah, like, well, I'm going to, like, die if I don't have that, first of all. Now, I might have to do some farming here, like, this takes so long! And now, where, ugh, until I go to the next room, like, want him to show me. done talking to do the there all right so now okay bottom right has the store now if I were to spend like seven hours just like doing that we could spend like seven hours just like doing this and then you get one heart per snake Let's see. Don't care. At least I have the map and I have all the things now, like. So this is a little bit better. If I get to any area where I can like actually get like some peace and hearts, that'd be that'd be nice. Or if I could find my way to the hurt a bunch in the meantime, so it's, like, not even worth it. See, I don't want to be farming here. Go! I'm gonna drop down. Oh, my God. So I think over here is going to be the hot spring. But the problem is I'm gonna have to make it back through these eggplant lizards. Right, all right. Could I fly up there? If I could like grab a, too bad you can't like turn on the feather. 
the feather only saves you if you fall. So I, if I can make it by these eggplant wizards, we'd be in pretty good shape. No big deal. You're good, right? Do you like how, like, I, you know, I had the bow that, like, look, they t they turn all your shit off. Why even give it to me if I can't use it in the dungeons? So stupid. Fucking stupid ass game. Here you go, Pit. You completed the challenge room. Now you get the magical bow. Oh, really? Thanks. I know that I can't use it anywhere. But thanks for giving it to me. Really, really great. Thanks. Dick. Fucking shop owner. I'm so angry at this. I'm sorry. I'm just like bitching and complaining. But I mean, it's just like, fuck. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh fuck, where am I going? Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. My ass hairs hurt is gifting out subs to the community, gifted out subs to Tomato. Uh, Galactic Warfare 28 Dumpster Dog and Potato Bear thank you very much my ass hairs hurt for gifting out subs to the community once again uh, very much appreciated my ass hairs hurt thank you for uh, supporting the stream very much appreciated thank you Let's farm a little bit. We're going to do a little farming, because this looks like a good... Look at this. Look at this fantastic farming spot Mike has found himself. So let's see. It takes... How much? It takes uh, 100 to fill the health up a little bit. So if I have 200, which I almost have, that'd be great. Is there anything else I need to buy? Well, I have the map. I don't need to buy a torch. Uh, I don't need to buy a pencil. Where am I right now? Top right. Um, I don't need to buy the pencil. I don't need to buy the torch. I do need help. I mean, I could use the wine um, barrels or whatever. How much? Two. So if I got another wine barrel, that would be that would be good. So isn't it like two eighty or something for the wine barrel? So I would need like basically if I had like five hundred, I could buy health. I could buy wine. And then I could uh, be in good shape, basically. So I should probably do that. Time to farm. So now, now since I gotta stand here for like 10 minutes and do this, oh, uh, what's going on with you guys? <laughs> and thanks again for gifting out all those uh, gift subs. I 
I should try the Game Boy Kid Icarus. Is, so is the Game Boy Kid Icarus like the same as this? I haven't really messed with that one. Are older games better than new games? Um, yes. <laughs> um, obviously. Uh, obviously. I don't know. Uh, it depends on w what games you're talking about, you know? There's bad old games. There's bad new games. There's good new games. There's good old games. I, I like to go on a case-by-case -case basis uh, per game. Not even per console, just like per game. There's plenty of garbage games on the NES. There's plenty of great games on the NES, you know? So it's like, there's a lot of you know good games to play on the Switch. Mario Kart 8 is awesome, but I'm, I'm sure you could also find plenty of bad games, so, you know, it, it is what it is. Am I a celebrity? If I am, what would be below uh, a Z? great celebrity. So, like, okay, so let's do this. So, like, uh, an A-level celebrity would be, like, Harrison Ford, I guess, right, or something. Jack Nicholson, right? Um, and then, uh, so who, who could you name that would be, like, a D-level celebrity, in your opinion? Who's, a, like, a D-level celebrity? Judith Light? Um, excuse me, that would be an A-level celebrity. Uh, okay, so, like, sure. <laughs> Tony Danza. Okay, the chat says Tony Danza. I like how they're just, <laughs> who's the boss? So they're saying Tony Danza, is, my chat is saying it would be a D-rate celebrity. I, I guess at this point in 2023, right? Maybe not in 1988, but, um, so that would, so that would be, that. So how about like we we'll go lower than that, right? So how about uh, like an uh, a P, a P level celebrity? So that would be even like lower. So who who would be like a P rate celebrity? Peter Falk in tw in twenty twenty three. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting to that point. If you fucking give me a second, instead of fucking trying to commandeer with my fucking conversation, Rob Schneider. Okay, so then you get down to Z. So once, once you get down to level Z, are you even a celebrity anymore? I would be somewhere far below that. So I would say that, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, I am not. Or, or would it be fortunately? I would say it would actually be fort fortunate. gift card to Chili's. Hey, man. That's a pretty good fucking prize. Why you gotta be shitting on... Why you gotta be shitting on my $100 gift card to Chili's? That's a good gift card. You shut up about my Chili's gift card. Uh, 
Um, they're not giving me... What was the other thing I wanted to get? I wanted to... Oh, the bottle. Wait a second. If I, like, do this a bit, will they give the bottle? Or is it always the same? I think this is always the same. So I'm just going to fill it up completely then. Baby back ribs for all. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, wait, they... Oh, it's... When I... Oh, my God! When I leave the room and go into the boss room, then I see the damn bottle for the fucking barrel. I thought that room wasn't giving it. Fucking shit. Great. I can't fucking believe that. I thought they were trying to be like, no, all you get is, you know, these particular items, and then you can't. You like how this doesn't go high enough? You know what was nice? Like, remember earlier when I had the upgraded weapon and they take it away from you? Well, if I had that right now, and he's still Red Pit, how about don't have him be Red Pit? Why even, why is he even Red Pit? If he doesn't have the upgraded weapon, it doesn't even make sense. Have him go back to looking like regular pit. Fucking stupid. And this fucking arrow that fucking doesn't do it. Look at this. I got the, what he has it. It's showing you that he has the bow. Take out the good bow and use it. This is why Mario and Link and Samus will always be better than Pit. Was there ever a time when Samus is like, oh, I can't turn into the morph ball right now because I don't know, I don't feel like it. You know? Or Mario, Mario gets the mushroom and then he's like, oh, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna turn into Super Mario. shows the, doesn't it show the thing in the air or whatever? Where's the, what happened? Usually they show the treasure like in the air and then it didn't do, I don't know. This game is weird. Here we go. Shmup horizontal time. Horizontal shmup time. Pit equipped himself. Get equipped with I should do some Mega Man. Let's see. Let's do Mega Man. I, I, it's been a little while. I gotta find something cool Mega Man to do. And then the other day I was talking about doing Wrecking Crew. I feel like I, I, I kind of want to do Wrecking Crew. Anyway, we're gonna be building to the point of this whole thing soon. I'll, hopefully, if I beat this. And then we can see what the hell this second quest is all about, which I've never done before. If I can beat it, <laughs> if I can beat it and get there, that is. So, so also about that, no promises. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do what I can do, but I have no idea what it's about, how hard it is, any of that. I just want to mess with it. That's the point. So I don't know that I can beat it, but I'll I'll mess with it and see what it is. I, I, what I'm really curious about is, is it the same thing as the first quest, or do do they change the dungeons up? When you go through like the vertical stages, are they laid out differently, or is it the same shit? Like you know, I don't know. But that's what we're gonna find out. That's what I'm really curious about. Not even so much oh that I have to beat it or whatever, just more. 
I just want to know if it's different, basically, I guess is what I'm saying. And if it's not, there would be even more reason why somebody should make a hack of this game and like create different levels and make it make it a better game than it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they're talking about Mega Man. Mega Man 64. You should play Mega Man Anniversary Collection on GameCube. It has Mega Man 8. But I've done Mega Man 8 already. You can go check out my Mega Man 8 stream. Do I ever watch Bob Ross to chill out? Uh, sometimes I'll watch Bob Ross. Here, here and there, yeah, occasionally. I, I've always loved Bob Ross. I've watched it since I was a kid, yeah. Who doesn't love Bob Ross? Bob Ross is fantastic. Um, so, yes. That is a yes. Oh, I, I grew up on all that PBS stuff. Bob Ross, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers. All that stuff. And like old school uh, Nickelodeon grew up on that. You know, I, I do my stupid David the Gnome song. That's all old Nickelodeon stuff. Back in the era when they actually would show like old cartoons on there. I, I loved the early first couple years of Cartoon Network, which that's like, it doesn't even like exist now or something, right? Like, I don't even know what the status of that is. Isn't that, is it, is it still around or what? Like, but it used to be when it first started, they would show like actual cartoons. And then they, they you know, then they just make it like original programming and all this stuff. It's kind of, it's the same thing as like MTV. It's like MTV used to be music videos and then it changes into whatever it is. I don't even know. Yeah. But you think of that, it's like, oh, Cartoon Network. What would that be about? Um, maybe they would show like cartoons and that's how it was in the very beginning. And it was cool. And then they totally changed it. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just go buy DVDs, thanks. You know? Thanks for thanks for making me buy a bunch of like DVDs instead, I guess. I mean, maybe that was the problem, is that when you were able to buy a lot of those cartoons on DVD, it made it like less important to be able to, to, for them to air it. Because I guess a lot of people that wanted to watch that kind of stuff would just buy the DVD, maybe? I wonder if that had anything to do with with that but anyway so this is the final boss of Kid Icarus you can just I know this I've beaten this already so like you can fly around and beat this too but this is like the safe zone you pretty much stay in this general area and just keep firing and then eventually Medusa comes out and ooh dead and there you go and then yeah somebody was asking what the criteria is for what you look like so at the end of Metroid you know Samus changes the clothes and what is it here? Is it going to be anything, or...? Okay, so I have, like, a Marvin the Martian kind of, like, helmet. I guess depending on score or something, you can have different, like, outfits. So... Didn't get the best ending. Yeah, I don't know what you have to do to get it. There's four criteria for the appearance. See, I don't even know what they are. So, anyway, so I think what I did before, like last time I played this, I could be wrong, but I think I let, like I saw this and I was like, oh, okay, like I beat the game. So if you wait this out, at the end of it, I think you can start, it says continue or start or something, and then you can start a second quest. So we're gonna have to try that out, and, but we gotta wait. Play Wrecking Crew for a bit. I love Wrecking Crew. I mean, may, uh, I know I'm not changing the game. We're still playing Kid Icarus. The whole point is for me to keep going beyond this. Which I said from the beginning. It's okay. You maybe you weren't here in the beginning. 
why is it more difficult? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it's all about. So we're going to find out right now. Okay, so push start button, right? Here we go. So this is what I want to know. Okay, so so far, this looks similar to like when you start. Well, also, wait a second. So I have my upgrades. So you have the weapons. And I have the health upgrade. So I have my health and I have the weapons. So what happens if I go in here now? Nothing. I'm gonna s spend a little time on this because I wanna like see like what what is the deal here. Isn't this like weird? They start they start you like this like. But it seems like the layout of the level is the same. So they didn't change. They didn't change the layout. See, when you play the second quest of Zelda, they change the location of the dungeons and stuff. Like they actually change stuff to make it like you would want to play through a second time. So I'm trying to think like, what is the? What were they? thinking with the second class here. All right, I'm gonna grab that. All right, then there's this crap, and I never know, like, what it's gonna be. I'm just gonna grab these, I guess. Loop two is the same. I mean, so far it looks the same, but I wanna, I wanna mess with it a bit. very sort of completionist about this. But so far, I feel like it's, this is pointless, but it can't, like, is it just completely pointless? <laughs> that's so disappointing if that's true. And I already have the health upgrade, so I'm just gonna go. Because I'm not gonna, like, I don't think I would have to, like, farm that out, right? Like, I mean, I probably could have looked at this information up online, but I, I guess I just wanted to do it myself. When you complete the second playthrough, they just say Congl congratulations. You become this. You okay? I thought you were gonna give me real information. <laughs> I thought he, I thought he like actually like looked up something and he like figured it out and then like he had me actually reading that. What, what am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do? Alright, here comes Groucho. I don't... I don't need this, I'll just go. I am, I am not satisfied yet. Let's just have this be... I will probably never have a need to play Kid Icarus again. You know? Oh, wait, can I do this? Oh, they don't let me. Oh, 485! Get that barrel. That's kind of the point. I want to, like, make it so I'm, like, I never have to feel like I ever need to play this game again. So I want to get, I want to get to that point. I want to know... I want to know that I don't care about this second quest. I don't want to find out, like, in a year, and then they're like, oh, did you know, like, in second quest, there's, like, this crazy, there's something crazy about it, or, you know, something. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. Let's figure out what, what like, what the deal is. Because <clears throat> when I beat the second quest of, um, what's it called, uh, Castlevania 2, or Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, <clears throat> Loop, loop two. I felt like that was like worth doing. I can't get that yet because I don't have the fucking barrel, right? I'll buy one of these. Um. So like, I'm just gonna find out for myself. But so far, this just seems like bullshit. Oh. Pfft. Well, there you go. It's good that that, that I grabbed that. I gotta be really careful because I don't have any more. 
seems like that's all I would need to do at this point, just buy a bunch of... Like, I, I, like, I gotta think, like, did they make the bosses have more hit points now? So if I get to the boss of the first dungeon, is he gonna be stronger, even? Like, what is the point here? And I feel like if they didn't make a point, that's like another kind of like not good thing about this game is like seems like kind of like lazy. But I'm gonna say I want to. I would like to at least make it to the boss of the first dungeon and see if he is more powerful or anything. If he's the same, I might just turn this off. And I have a feeling he's gonna be. Here, let's look in here. I'm glad you came. Ooh. So is that, wait a second, is that even higher than before? Like, is that another upgrade beyond what I had? Might be. Do, 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 do. do you have five arrows in your menu now? Oh, that's a good thought. Uh, I do. Huh. Mr. Sallykins, thank you for the sub. It's New Game Plus, so you can get the best upgrades. So, what isn't... So, so the problem with that is... So, I did a stream at one point. I played Mega Man Powered Up. And on the second playthrough, after you've, like, you know, played the game and learned the game, then they give you, I think, the, you know, where Mega Man charges his buster. And it's, or the slide or something, I, I forget. But they, they give you these upgrades, and it's like, but I already beat the game. And then I don't think the game was, like, any harder or anything, and it was like... And it's like, why do a second quest if it's not more difficult? Like, it should, the second quest should be more difficult than the first quest. So, like, if it's just like, oh, they're gonna give you upgrades, so what? So that I can just, like, feel like. Like I'm great or something? It's like, oh, look how powerful I am. You know? Oh, I can just blow through all these enemies with no challenge now because I'm so powerful. Like, that's not challenging. I feel like that ruins this, like, very much. Um, I'm gonna get a feather, though. It's a victory lap. Right, it's just like, but why? Like, you already went through the whole game. I don't, I'm not into that victory lap idea. I just want, I want more challenge. I would have done like different bosses, different stages, more difficult, like totally not what I would do with a second quest. I, I, I would just say I just don't have it then. Because now, now you have me sitting here like trying to figure out what the point of this is. And like... It's stupid. You know, just don't, just don't have it. Like when I beat the first quest, that should have just been it. It should have said the end, and then there it doesn't go to a second quest victory lap. It's just like no. I don't know, I'm just not seeing it. But that's why I want to like kind of. And the other thing, let's let's say that this boss what let's say I get to the boss and he is like more difficult, and he's got like 300. 400 like uh, hit points or whatever, and he is more difficult. Yeah, but now I'm also more charged up. So even if he is more difficult, I'll probably still wipe the floor with him because I'm so like overpowered now. You know? So it's like even in that case, it's kind of like I, I feel I almost feel like they have to like. 
take take all your stuff away. They need to take all your stuff away. You have to redo everything and get the items again. And then also make all the enemies like more difficult. That's what you do. That's what Castlevania did. And what happened with that? It was really, really, really difficult. But I did it. That was one of the hardest things I ever did with a video game challenge, was that Castlevania 3 Loop 2. That was super hard to do. And here you, and here you go. They're like, no, you don't, you don't get any of that, Mike. And what would the point of this even be? So I have all these weapons. Let's see. Are they just going to give me... See, this would be stupid, too. They're just going to give me these same weapons that I already have. So if you go in these doors, what's the purpose of the doors in the second quest? They didn't, they didn't care at this point. They're like, uh, somebody was like, oh, Zelda's got a second quest, so this has to, too. And they're, they're probably like, oh, we're out of time, or we don't care anymore about this. We're just gonna make nothing. I'm so upset that this is like nothing. Okay, I, oh look! Look at the th weapons I already have. Oh, it's the same thing! So if I grab the bow, or the fire... Oh look, it's I already had it! So that room is completely pointless. Plus. I got your new game plus. Alright, let's see. Mike being disappointed by a 40-year-old game blows my mind sometimes. Oh, are you shocked that I have thoughts and opinions about uh, a 40-year-old game? All of a sudden, just now, you're like, you're like, geez, isn't it weird that Mike has feels emotions towards like retro video games? Oh, really? Just now, you're figuring this out. Yeah, I care about retro video games. I'm sorry. You're you're right. You're right. I do I do have feelings and I care about these old games. I'm sorry. You're not wrong. <laughs> That's kind of the whole point. That's the entire point. Do I need these things? I'll find. Well, I, I want to know where I am. I can probably. So, all right, this boss. Like, I don't know where in this dungeon he is. I remember. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is still gonna be pain in the ass though, because you know what? These eggplant wizards are gonna. I remember this. So I go. All right. I kind of know the path. But you see what I mean? I know the path. That's a problem. They should have redone these dungeons. I shouldn't know this path. It should be a totally new dungeon. Okay, so I'm, I pretty much determined that this is a total waste of my time. And what I probably should have done, I probably should have looked this up like online to see if it was different before actually figuring it out for myself. Sometimes I just like to figure things out for myself instead of just looking it up. Because now we live in a world where you can look at anything up. But like honestly, like this time it probably would it probably would have saved me a lot of trouble. God damn it, I gotta go back and fix this now. Hang on. Ugh. Doo -doo -doo. Gotta go to the hospital. Gotta get my health back. I'm I'm doing one last thing with this. I'm gonna make it to this boss. And I I just want to know if he's got more hit points. So originally, 
Can somebody look? When I fought, fought him the first time, the boss of the first level, how many hit points does he have normally? It, it's 200, right? Is it 100 or 200? Because I would know if he had 300, it would definitely be more. And if that is the case, if he has more hit points, then that gives this at least some kind of purpose. And then I, I probably will just play through the rest of the game. If it's exactly the same, I'm gonna turn it off. This loop is 100 HP as it shows in the bottom right. Oh, it's already showing it. That's right, you don't have to make it to the boss for them to show it. So it's, wait, it's 100? Is that less than what it was? Well, it's definitely not more. I forget, I, uh, by the way, I, I thought that you had to get to the boss for them to show. I, I forgot that they have it on the screen the entire dungeon. The eggplant thing's so stupid term. Yeah, all right, so the boss is not gonna be more difficult. So this is, I'm done then. The boss has armor now. 200 is the second and third boss. Oh, just kidding. He said, okay, the boss does not have armor. Okay, so that confirms it. So that's it. So second quest is pointless. Uh, so I'm done. If any, before I turn it off, if anybody has any other thoughts about the second quest, but I, I think I'm done. I'm gonna put it on a different game. All right, so that's Kid Icarus. Uh, sorry, I thought the second quest thing would be more uh, in uh, interesting. There basically is no second quest. Yeah, exactly. There is no second quest. Still fun. Wrecking Crew. See, the thing about Wrecking Crew, I mean, I guess I could start Wrecking Crew. I'll put on Wrecking Crew for a minute. Alright, so th anyway, that's that. So, the thing about Wrecking Crew, though, is like, I want to play through the whole game, and it's going to take a while, so, and now I just did, like, all of Kid Icarus, so I'll probably leave Wrecking Crew for another stream, but I'll put it on for a minute so we can look at it, though, at least. Um, and then another day I'll go through the entire game. Wrecking Crew. So, okay, so this game, I want to do this game. Um, I don't know how long it would take me to go through this entire thing. Is it going to work? Oh, well, that's a... See, oh, wait a second. It's not, like, restarting. Okay, well, I mean, there you go. <laughs> so sometimes people are like, why do you have, like, so many different versions? For one thing, a lot of these are... Um, might be like the Famicom version or like, you know, from another country or something. Um, but another thing that's helpful is if one of the ROMs isn't working, I'll like pick the next ROM. So let's pick that one. Oh, that one doesn't work either. Okay, this is interesting. All right, let's try that one. Does this one work? That one works. So there you go. Now we know why. I mean, I don't know why those other ones don't work, but now you, if you're ever like looking and you're like, why does he have so many ROMs? Sometimes the ROMs like don't work. And then if I have like 10 of them on there, one of them works. Anyway, here's Wrecking Crew. They are, those, those ROMs were wrecked. <laughs> and now I should end. But anyway, so I'll do this sometime soon. So basically what Wrecking Crew is, is you break the, if you haven't seen it, not everybody has, I know most of you guys probably have. So you go through, you break the doors, right? Break these. And then what do I have left? I have that gray one left, so I gotta go get that. And then I gotta break the, these ladders here, and then you gotta watch out for the fireballs. So basically it's about wrecking the doors and the ladders. And once you finish that, that's the stage. It's a fun it's a fun game. It, I, I I think I feel like this is a classic game. And it's like kind of Mario. He like looks weird, but it's like 
And then there's like another guy, I forget, I always forget his name. I'll have to look it up later. But there's like another guy that's like not, that's not Wario and not Waluigi. Um, this, or Luigi. It's just like another guy. Does anybody remember the name of the dude? Somebody will know. Ralph. It's not Ralph. And then if, here, if I hit this, that you can like break those and stuff. I don't think Frank, Kevin. Now they're just guessing. Anyway, that's what Wrecking Crew is. But there's a lot of stages, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that another day because you know I just went through all that kid Icarus. All right, that's it for now. We'll play Wrecking Crew another time. Um, thanks for letting me know that that one part in the game is either Contra or Bubble Bobble because that was that was driving me crazy. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's the stream for now, and we'll play something else next time. Uh, if you see this later on YouTube, you know always drop me some suggestions for what you want to see me stream and thank you very much i will see you soon thanks for watching guys bye